Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about happiness. I'm doing a happy makeup tutorial, something that's gonna make you happy, working with a lipstick called Ask For It. I feel like we as women do not ask for the help we need or we don't ask for what we really want. So it's a beautiful burgundy color. I'm going to be putting my favorite Velcro curlers in my hair because it makes me happy. I love the beautiful volume I get after I do something very simple and inexpensive like this. So I just roll them down. I like to secure them with a bobby pin. And then I will spritz them with a little hairspray. So sometimes my Velcro curlers go in better than others, but today we are going to just be happy with the way that they're in. They're in, right? They're in my hair. They're not falling out. So Thanksgiving is coming up this week, and I really have been working hard on evening out my mood, not stressing so much, and I have found support with the Winged Wellness, two different products. Now I showed you their CBD gummies that a lot of you ladies have written into me and said how much it's helped you with your sleep, which makes me feel so happy. I've randomly found it on a whim at Life Extensions, this product line, Winged Wellness, and I have been experimenting with other products in their line. So I love the names of their products. I love the ingredients. I love their GMO free. I love that they're pesticide free. I love that it's a woman based business. And so I started using the happy start. This is a powder that I put into my coffee and then I use my little frother to just mix it in. And this is a mood boosting drink, happy mind and hormonal health. And if you've been following me, you know I've talked about my endometriosis. So I'm always looking for hormonal health and balance. And this has wonderful ingredients in it from maca, ashkawanda, lion's mane, it also has lemon balm in it. So there's a whole list on their website really more about this product, but I've been really loving the fact that I'm getting that happy start. I'm really ha having that hormonal support and I'm also really boosting my mood. That's very important in the morning. So at night I can get that restful sleep with the CBD and then I can come up and start my happy morning. It's really, really my focus for this holiday season. As we know, it's very stressful and it just becomes, you know, like a, a heavy weight when we're just kind of keep layering all of the stress on us, whether it's family, whether it's traveling, what have you. And another thing that I've been using for now, probably four or five months, is a dark chocolate. This is a relaxation, 30 milligrams of CBD. And this has maca and, and F and 5-HTP. So what's nice about this is that when I'm batching content and I get so worked up and I'm so stressed, I will take one of these. And that's really how I felt like it was really working because I was so on edge and I was so trying to do everything and I just felt like, oh my gosh, now I gotta run to a meeting, now I gotta get ready for this new meeting, like I gotta go here. And I just felt so frazzled. And so when I took the relaxation chocolate, and it's not like a chocolate that you normally have. It's not one that like melts in your mouth. It's different. It's like a different texture. It's different. I keep this in my purse for like those times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, I feel like I have so much anxiety. I'm trying to do too much. So this is kind of like my duo. I start off happy in the morning. And then if I need it during the day, I will take one of the, and I actually, I think I have, <laughs> two left I think I have two left I, I literally ration them out like I use them very sparingly but they when I order them they come separate from my main order because they have to ice them so because they're chocolates they don't want them to melt so what's really exciting and what will give you so much happiness is that Black Friday is coming up they have a sale on their website I have a special code for you listed below this video so you can stock up and you can go into your holiday season not feeling so stressed you know there are statistics that women do stress out more than men and it takes us a longer time to recover I know go figure but typical right so we're going to go right into this makeup tutorial and just create a very happy holiday look I am starting off with the quarterly vino perfect this is a rated serum I haven't used this in a while on the channel and I love this I want some radiance this holiday you know that makes me happy with my skin beautiful feels so nice ladies you want to really hydrate your skin you want to put in the serum first and then you want to do your moisturizer your SPF whatever your skin is calling for 
Today I'm going to go in with my Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 from Supergoop. I'm going to just place this on my skin and it's going to give me a really beautiful slip to my skin and it's going to protect me with that SPF 40. Now my skin is prepped. I have my beautiful Radiant Serum on. I have a sunscreen on. I felt like doing minimal today. Didn't feel like my skin needed that much hydration going into this beautiful look for the Thanksgiving season. So we're gonna start off with our eye and lip primer. This is what I'm gonna do first. I always do my eyes first. I'm going to prime so you can see how dark they are, right? I have just this brown, red, you know, it's just discolored. And I'm going to go from the base of the lashes all the way up to the brow bone. So I'm going to go in this inner corner, very important because of that shadowing. We have grayness, darkness, blues, and then I'm going to take it right out. So you're going to have a nice primed eye. And the reason why you want to do this, ladies, is because you want your eyeshadows to lay true on your skin. You don't want them to be muddied with your actual skin color. That doesn't look good and you get frustrated because you're looking at a color in the palette and then you're like, well, it doesn't look that way on my eye because you haven't primed your eye first and also this is going to allow your eyeshadow to last longer it's going to last throughout the day it's not going to crease it's a beautiful beautiful product eye primer is on and we're going to go right into our authentic palette five beautiful matte shadows i love this palette because it gives you so much range and you can go as soft or as dramatic as you want you can do a beautiful smoky eye if you want to with this in the brown family i'm going to show you a little trick on how to highlight your eye area for the holiday maybe for that thanksgiving dinner maybe for that cocktail party that you're going to so let's start off with the lightest color this is basically a bone color i'm going to do this on the entire eye so i'm going to go from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone i'm going to stay a little neutral though with the eye because i'm going to be doing ask for it which is a nice burgundy lip it is going to be powerful ladies so prepare yourself but it can look so beautiful it can look very elegant you can even use it as a stain which i'll show you how to do so let's go into more of the taupe color and we're going to just take our pencil brush here which is basically our um, kind of contouring brush i have nine essential makeup brushes for you that i designed i have put more in here for myself when i'm doing makeup tutorials but 100 percent a vegan a great christmas gift this is wonderful for just being able to easily do your makeup it's not about how many brushes you have that gets overwhelming and it gets kind of frustrating and you're like wait a second I don't know what all of these brushes are for simple nine brushes do the work for you so I'm going to just go into the taupe color and I'm gonna go into my crease so you can see right where my eye creases I'm going to just create some more shadowing there I'm gonna take my short smudge brush and I'm going to go into this dark chocolate and more of an espresso color. So I'm gonna mix the two. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm gonna just create a little contour on the end of my eye. Just think about that triangle that you're gonna do. Arrow goes to your right, arrow goes to your left. So you're gonna see right in here, this is where I'm placing it. And again, don't worry if it looks messy, we're gonna blend. So you can just place the product the eyeshadow right in that corner. You can go up a little bit higher if you want to, but I really want this look to be just smaller, not all over, just a little bit of that contour at the end. So this is a good example, I always do this. So you can see, oh my gosh, Nicole, what are you doing? It doesn't look good. It looks like you put messy shadow on the end and it looks just awful just wait ladies you just don't you don't want to jump to conclusions on when you first put on the eyeshadow what you can do is you can go back and we can blend since these are very silky eyeshadows we can just blend them in but i had enough pigment there right so i'm blending it into my crease i have it still on this end corner as you can see the camera will be gracious enough to not be blurry and try to focus on everything else you'll see that you can easily just get this to look seamless right in the eye area. Beautiful. Now remember, I have my all my pads right here on the sideline as my wingman, and I'm going to just take it 
I'm gonna fold it over my finger and I'm going to just go straight up. So in case I had some fallout or it was a little bit lower or it wasn't, you know, maybe it was in all my fine lines and wrinkles and I didn't like that, I can just sweep it up and then it's perfect. So then we can continue on to our left eye. Left eye is on, sweeping up a little bit on this area too. Now let's go into doing our eyes. So first we're going to be doing eyelash curler, then we're going to go right into our gel liner. I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I'm going to just get to the base of my lashes, pump, 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 pump. You can use a mechanical eyelash curler. You can use a heated eyelash curler. It is up to you. Do a little tilt and then I have my lashes up. Now I have straight lashes, ladies. I have long lashes because of my lash serum that I use. But if I wasn't curling my lashes, you don't see them. So I'm missing out on a really beautiful beauty tip and beauty feature. So you want those lashes up. So I wouldn't see my lashes unless I curled them. So that's what we just did. Going in with my ultimate brow cream and eyeliner. You can use this for your brows if you want to. It is a stay put formula with a brush on the end. So it just from the top, you just take it out. You gotta make sure you clean it because it will get hard. And then you have beautiful gel liner. So we're gonna use, this stays put too. Like it'll stay put all day, all night. You gotta take a, really you should take a, like if you're doing a double cleanse, take your oil cleanser first over it and it'll come off. But it definitely stays true, ladies. So I'm gonna just take my little wand, go into this product, and then I'm going to drag it across my lash line. You know that I love making the lash really pop. It's really about the lash line making it look thicker, not about having a really heavy lash liner. Does that make sense? So what I want to do is I want to start and I usually start in the middle and I'm going to just go to the base of my lashes and I make little strokes like this. A very big tip ladies that I want you to remember if your eyes start to go down, right? Maybe with age, your eye is not as, you know, like the, the, the eyelid is coming down a little bit of hooding on the end. Don't take your liner and follow the, the eye all the way down. Cause guess what? I'm what if, if I'm looking at you, I'm going to just follow that line <laughs> coming down. I want you to stop shorter. Not where it's super obvious, but I want you to lift the eye. We're always lifting the face. So I don't want you to follow it all the way down because then you're basically outlining what's going on with the eye. We're going to stop a little bit shorter. You've seen that a lot of my fierce aging videos where I'll show you that I stop just a tiny bit before the end of the eye on whatever woman I'm working on, 60s, 70s, 80s, because I want to create that illusion that the eye is lifted, not coming down. So this is what I'm doing, nice short strokes. You get a beautiful, very pigmented liner. Always a good example. So when I'm going in sometimes with a brush, it will give me a thicker in the, in the, the part near my nose, right? So I'm like, okay, I don't really love that. How do I fix it? Should I do more? No, just take, this is why it's called my eraser brush. Just take this brush and you can just smudge it across so you're going to see it all come together so you're not adding more you're basically fusing it out you're just giving that fusion so you had a little bit going higher lower and didn't look as polished as you want don't worry you don't have to take it off you don't have to add more that's the big mistake oh no i have to add more to even it out no take your smudge brush just go across the lash line and you are going to see magic happen with your little eraser. I don't want you to get confused though. It's a smudge brush, but I call it my eraser because it just erases all my mistakes. Eyeliner is done. I'm going to go with whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to just give it that, that balance underneath the eye. You can also take your smudge brush and you can drag it underneath to kind of smooth it out and give you a little bit of shadowing underneath the eye. Also, a good tip, ladies, is that you can wet the shadows if you want to go into the darkest, the dark chocolate, the espresso color, and you can create your eyeliner from your palette if you want to do that. Just a drop of water. I would put, I usually put distilled water in a little dropper, and then I would just put one little drop there and then use a eyeliner brush. That makes it very easy. So again, remember when you're closing up your cream 
gel liner, you want to make sure that top's on it. And I just take my Almay pad and clean off the wand before I put it back in the top like that. So eyes are almost finished. We're going to go in with some volumizing and curling mascara. Again, the wand is so tight, tight, tight with the teeth. So you're really getting that mascara on your lashes. You know how annoying that is when you have a a mascara one and you're putting it on your lashes and it literally feels like it's just missing your lashes. You're like, where is the mascara on my lashes? Well, you get to the base and you go straight up. So you're going to see every single one of my lashes, even my babies, because the teeth grab all my lashes and give it a beautiful coat, not clumpy because you're not picking up when you pull the wand out of the, the tube, you don't have a ton of product on the wand, which is really important because when you start seeing a ton of product and then you go to your lashes, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm clumpy, clumpy all over. You don't get that when you use a brush like this. So you can see the eyes are subtle. I did not go crazy with putting on a lot of eyeshadow. They're matte shadows, they're neutral shadows, really nice. I feel like my lips are really dry. I'm gonna go in with my vitamin E and ah, put this back on my lips for some hydration. I'm not quite sure, I'm drinking tons of water, so not sure, but I think I'm not putting on enough lip balm during the day. So. We're gonna go in now to perfecting our skin and I'm gonna show you my last little super, super holiday tip to getting bright eyes. Before I go into my skin, I'm gonna just gloss my brows with a little Coco it's Brow Fix. This is going to go on my brows. It's just gonna groom them. It will cover any of the grays. I actually think that I lost the two gray brows that I had, not quite sure where they went. I'm actually thinking, oh no, I want you to stay. Don't go away because that means that you're falling out. But maybe they just had their growth, growth cycle and they were like, okay, time for us to move on. Going into the skin, I'm going to look, every tutorial I do with you is different. My skin's different, it's a different day. Do I have redness? Of course I do. Do I want to go in with some concealer? Of course I do. So I'm gonna go in with my No Redness Beauty Stick, medium to full coverage. So this is really about the redness on my skin. You can take your concealer brush if you want to not take it from the actual tube. You have lots of options. You can literally go from the tube like I always do. I can be a little bit more precise around the nose area here where I'm red. Sometimes this pigmentation is more red than it is dark, so I can just spot treat any of the redness. Do I see anything else? and then I'm going to work it in with my foundation buffing brush. So I'm using a green color corrector just on some spots. I'm going to just be altering the color. So the redness will be canceled out by the green and it is a nice soft, soft minty green. So you're not going to see green on the skin. You're just going to be color correcting that redness and giving your skin a nice neutral base. So now we're gonna go in with my Lighten Up and this is going to be a brightening concealer and I go to the inner corner here, and since I have color corrected, I can go to the outside here. It is so funny. I have so many comments on that one TikTok I did. It has over a million point one views about doing concealer right for women over 40, and everybody is so, like, it's very passionate about the way I did it, which you know, I like to come down and do this triangle, and everybody's freaking out, like, that's not right, that's not how you do it. And I'm thinking to myself, it's right for my skin. I mean, there's no one way to do concealer. I want you to really understand that because I know you're watching so many things on Instagram, girls in their 20s, 30s, whatever. Uh, there's so many different techniques and it's about what works for you. So there is no right or wrong. That's like the irony of the actual like five second video. It's like, there is no right or wrong. Do what works for you. This technique might work for you. We color corrected here. I'm going to just use the lighten up in this inner corner here, come down so it's all gonna work together. I'm still lightening it up, still kind of giving that beautiful brightness to my eye area, but I already used the color corrector, so I don't need as much if I was gonna do a traditional style covering my pigmentation. So ladies, really just work with what works for you with your skin. 
just don't fall into the pattern feeling like everything you do is wrong because it's not what you're seeing. You create your own technique. Maybe you do three little spots and you're like, oh, this is perfect for my skin. You, I want you to feel like you can say, okay, she does two. I might do like an extra one out here and then I work it all in. You know what works best for you. Just giving you some options, giving you some visuals. I think this is my favorite part of my makeup tutorials is doing the brighteners and the color correctors. It just makes me feel so good. I think honestly, if I could only take one product, I don't know, I think I would be taking a concealer because it makes me feel so happy because it's with my theme of my tutorial today, right? So we're gonna go now, I'm gonna just mix two BB colors here. I'm gonna go in with light and I'm gonna go in with fair. And this is wonderful for mature skin. This is why I created this BB cream because it has ginseng, it has aloe, it has chamomile. It's a burst of hydration on the skin. It doesn't look like foundation. It doesn't look like tinted moisturizer because that's too light. I wanted something that was just between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation. So you have options with this. I like to mix the two together. I feel that during, it just depends on really what's going on with my skin and coloring and sun here in South Florida. So I'm gonna just mix the two together. And then what I like to do is really concentrate on putting it in the center of my face and then I work out. I've showed this in multiple different videos because this is what, how I don't get all of this in my hair. Plus, I really want my T-zone this area to be with the concentration of the product and then i can work out depending on your skin maybe you need more coverage in different areas so you want to work your bb cream cc cream foundation to those areas that are, are most concerned to you so i'm going to just apply and then i'm going to buff it into the skin now that the bb cream is on i'm going to just set it with a little nikita banana again brightening powder makes me happy i want to brighten up my skin at all times so i just take this really t-zone and i like to go right underneath my eyes that's where i like to really set my concealer color corrector going in with my classic beach face palette this is going to be great because i can do a little contour i can do a little blush and then i can do some highlights so three in one it's really a nice palette to have in your bag whether you're traveling or you're just on a daily basis so i'm going to go into the bronzer and just wanting to give some dimension Just slide on right down to the blush. This is going to be a really beautiful apricot with a bit of a sheen to it. I'm gonna take my foundation flat brush and I'm gonna go into the highlighter that is going to give that beautiful sheen. Do you see that? It is so pretty and it's, I mean, literally tap, tap into the palette and then put on the cheekbone. If you want a little radiance, that's the best way to get it. It's not overdone. It's not looking like a disco ball. It's not glittery. It's not sparkly. It is just a sheen. It's almost like that candlelight, beautiful look to your skin. Now, speaking of doing a little highlight, you can take the cream shadow stick from Bobbi Brown. This is in golden pink. And if you want to, if you're feeling the holiday vibe and you want to brighten up the eye area, just take this in the inner corner. You can go right in here and you can brighten up literally within seconds ladies right here do you see that so say you have darkness in that eye area in that little corner this is a great trick you can just take this and remember these were in my holiday gift under a hundred dollars these were 29 dollars to get three in a set i thought they were perfect because you know i use the large ones and these are 29 dollars. so you get three and they come in great colors for $29. I got it at Sephora and Ulta also has it too. So now we're on to lips. We're going to go for it. We're just going to do it. Ladies, we're going to ask for it and we're going to do cognac waterproof lip pencil and we're going to do the beautiful ask for it. Now we can make this a stain. So don't, don't already rule it out before you actually see the final, final product. I fill the lip in with the lip pencil because when wearing a darker color, if it fades, I don't want it to just look like I have a ring around my mouth with the lip liner. I'm going to go in with ask for it. 
you can go back with your lip liner and really define your lips. So yes, this is definitely a nice, rich, dark color for the holiday season. If you feel that it's too much for you, I'm going to show you after we take down the full look. It's kind of hard to get the full look when you have the Velcro curlers in your hair. Kind of gives a different vibe that you're not fully done yet. So we have that volume. And remember, this is just with me putting them in at the start of this tutorial with you. So you can see it really gives you that extra. And then you can just use your hairspray, spray it. You can spray it actually when it's up. I should have done that, but I didn't. But you can then spray it, get that beautiful, just very polished look. Now, if you're feeling like I can't go to this cocktail party, Nicole, with this dark lipstick, it is just too much. It's not me. I don't feel comfortable. Not a problem. You can take tissue and you can blot your lips, blot your lip, and create a stain. So you can keep going down until you are happy with where it is, and then we can gloss it. So I have taken it down to be a stain. You can put clear gloss over it, but since I am vibing with this happiness, high vibe, I'm gonna take high vibe. And this is a beautiful gloss. It's going to just enhance this color. It's in the same family, but you're going to have a more wearable color if you're not used to wearing a dark color. So this is really just very pretty, ladies. So you took it to a stain, you put a gloss over it called High Vibe. This just has a tiny bit of sparkle to it. I really love this. This is another underrated lip gloss because you're not quite sure what you're looking at, but when you see it on, it's so holiday, it's so pretty. It's, it's very forgiving because it's not a highly pigmented lip gloss. So you can put this over any lipstick. It kind of just gives you more of that, I'm comfortable, I, I feel like I have a color on, but I don't have too much. So ladies, ask for it. Ask for that happy mood. Ask for that help that you need this holiday season. Put on a beautiful face, feel happy. Feel, really push yourself in there. I do this even when I'm not, when I'm really struggling and I'm like so annoyed and everything's going wrong and I'm just wanting to really just let those negative feelings fly. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me push myself into, I do Mel Robbins, five, four, three, two, one. I change those thoughts. I ask for myself to give me that better mood. Let me put myself into a higher, higher level. And I do that with these mood supporting herbs. I do things that really do help me. I do need the help. I don't think I can do it on my own. And ladies, I hope you enjoy this week. I hope you enjoy Black Friday. I hope you enjoy everything about your beauty this holiday season. And until my next video, I'll see you later. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.